There is no denying the style influence of the ladies in the British royal family, particularly when it comes to their leading fashion favorites, Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle. Indeed, despite their undeniable differences as far as their wardrobe choices, there is one thing that Kate and Meghan continue to have in common as far as fashion, their ability to give labels an instant boost both in sales and exposure. They don't call it the Kate effect and the Markle sparkle for nothing. Whenever they step out for official engagements, both ladies represent the monarchy with their own very unique styles, with female revealing the five most distinct differences between the fashion choices of the Duchess of Cambridge and the Duchess of Sussex. Very different brides. Kate and Meghan's well-defined style differences were apparent even when they walked down the aisle at their respective royal weddings. Back in April 2011, Kate won hearts the world over when she wed Prince William in a long sleeve gown by English designer Sarah Burton, creative director of the luxury fashion house Alexander McQueen. The lace applique bodice was made by hand and inspired by the Victorian tradition of corsetry, it narrowed at the waist creating a figure flattering hourglass silhouette. The future Queen's dramatic entrance was made complete with a train that was nearly nine feet long. And while many thought Meghan might have taken inspiration from the jaw-dropping gowns of her sister-in-law or her late mother-in-law Princess Diana, she instead tied a knot with Prince Harry in May 2018 in a simple, pure white gown by British designer Claire Wade Keller, the artistic director of French fashion house Givenchy. A world away from the lacy dress worn by Kate, Meghan's haute couture creation, which was criticized for being ill-fitting featured a no-frills boat neckline and three-quarter length sleeves. What it lacked in wow factor, it made up for in sentiment with her cathedral-length veil featuring floral detail representing all 53 countries of the Commonwealth. Use of color. They say dress for the job you want. So it cannot be a coincidence that future monarch Kate embraces the same bright, bold colors that Queen Elizabeth II has always shown such a fondness for. The 93-year-old's affinity for coats and hats and matching bold hues is a calculated style move so that the crowds of people can see her, and it seems the sartorial statement is one that the Duchess of Cambridge is keen to echo. Much like her grandmother-in-law, Kate regularly steps out in all colors of the rainbow, perhaps in preparation for her future royal role. On the flip side, Meghan favors neutral shades like black, gray, navy and dark green the perfect accompaniment to her more relaxed and edgy approach to style. While muted hues may well be what the former actress is most comfortable in, the lack of color could also be her attempt to not draw too much attention to herself. Prince vs Solids While Kate shows herself to be much more proper and reserved than Meg, the 37-year-old still takes more fashion risks, but all while still adhering to all the royal rules and codes, without fail. Whether she's attending a black tie dinner or dropping her children off at school, the mother of three isn't afraid to don wild patterns and prints. Meg, 38, tends to play as safe and solids, even though she has been known to push back on a few of the many royal rules. Conservative versus Modern Meghan clearly takes a much more modern approach to dressing than Kate. Conservative with her fashion choices, it's no surprise that the Duchess of Cambridge favors ladylike A-line dresses that hit just above the knee. While Meghan, who had her first child five months ago, has grown very fond of the shirt dresses of late, wearing at least three during the 10-day Royal Africa tour. The casual button-down frock features a tie belt that creates the perfect hourglass silhouette. Its modest midi-length hemline is practical and conservative and conforms to the royal dress code. Shirt dresses have become a staple with the fashion set, as the easy breezy garment screams professional and party ready. Though conservative, Kate surprises us. She wowed the crowd at the Natural History Museum in London this week looking put together and on trend in a pair of olive culottes. She teamed the cropped bottoms with a burgundy knit sweater. It was an unexpected ensemble that really worked. Meg sticks to classics like black pants or blue jeans, that she effortlessly pairs with wardrobe staples, including button-down blouses. A touch of sparkle. Meghan generally leans towards delicate pieces of sentimental jewelry. 
She's most often decorating her lobes with small earrings. She wore a Jennifer Meyer mummy necklace to her baby shower in New York and then later a necklace by the same designer featuring three stones commemorating her new family. In addition to her wedding bands made from Welsh gold, the Duchess often stacks dainty rings from high and low end labels, including Brooklyn based brand Catbird. Kate favors timeless statement pieces. When she's not donning diamond heirlooms from the royal vault, she favors drop earrings and her 12 carat, oval sapphire surrounded by 14 solitaire diamonds engagement ring that once belonged to Princess Diana.